Ready to get the win, even though we couldn't fight. Really good, get the win. Right, right, right. I still try to get it at the end. Talk about your jump shot, man. Like you worked on that thing in the summer. I worked on it the whole summer. The whole summer, I worked on my jump shot to get it better. For right now, for time like that. Now, I know y'all ain't have chance, Gazza. You got hurt in the first half, and uh, y'all have Reggie. But you know, y'all still play. You know, pretty competitive against a good element team. What's the things you feel like y'all need to work on, man, to be a better team than y'all was last year? Free throws and our defense, our transition defense, and half court defense. We need to lock up more. That's it. Talk about some of the people off y'all bench, man, like DeAndre Boogers. What you think he could do for y'all team? He's gonna be big this year for us. He can knock down open three and shot and little Trelly. He play defense a little bit. He just a little over aggressive. They gonna be good. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to G-Spot Sports Talk. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. Y'all just seen in my last segment of holiday, I attended the Terrebonne Paris Basketball Jam and read this past Thursday. Hell of a game between L and H. You saw how it ended with A.J. Green. They come across half court, hitting the long distance three-pointer. The Senate, uh, the Senate game into a tie. And we all know that Jamboree's don't have overtime, so that's how the game at the end. But this is going to set it up. For the highly anticipated matchup between L and HL late on in the season when they play in the HL tournament. And uh, I think they play again either at HL or at L and but I know they're going to play twice this year. So y'all make sure y'all in the building to catch that game. Really impressed with a lot of these players from both teams to say that they both were missing some of their key players. Um, I got to start with AJ Randy, man. The kid has been in the gym. You seen in the highlights, man, he knocking down the jumper and he's shooting it with confidence. And that's something that he was lacking last year. We all know he can handle the ball. He can get to the goal at will. But shooting the ball at a high rate like that um, and, and, and making a, making his shots, and even the ones he missed, they went in and out and hit the back of the room. And I think, man, when he's hitting that shot like that and he's shooting the ball with confidence like that, I'm going to make a bold statement right now and say there ain't a player in the state that can guard that kid. Um, what I want to see from AJ, man, to take his game to even uh, even more of an elite level is I want to see him bring it all on the defensive end. And I know he has the ability. Because when kids start talking smack to him and getting all in his face, that's when he starts bringing it on the defensive end. But I want to see him bring it on the defensive end from the tip. From the tip. Because he has the potential to be a defensive player of the year uh, candidate in that district in 5e. Um, so that's what I'm looking for from AJ, man. And I just love the way um, his game has evolved. Um, DeAndre Boogies, the ninth grader. Uh, a lot of people don't know about this kid. He transferred in from Hummer Christian, and I watched him over the summer, and I even I watched him at the Bayou Preps um, basketball camp that, that Mr. DeMond Batista threw over the summer. And this kid has all the ability in the world. Um, he doesn't he doesn't play like a typical ninth grader. The kid has a lot of poise, can knock down an open shot, can handle the ball real good. Um, I think he's going to be a real, real key factor for HL off that bench, man. Y'all be on the lookout for that little ninth grader, DeAndre Boogies, man. Um, Chance Gazzari, he got hurt in the first five minutes of the game. Um, we all know about Chance, man. Everybody know about him. He's been on the scene since his ninth grade year. Um, my thing is with Chance, man, I I'm ready to see Chance take his game to another level. Okay, I'm ready to see him uh, explode and be the player that I know he can be. Um, you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> he on the clock. 
the, the time is running out. You know what I'm saying? It's just seeing you. It's all or nothing now. Um, and I think Chance is going to be the reason if they make it to state of they don't. Um, he is that important to that team. And, um, you know, when, along with, with AJ playing the way he playing and, and, and when Ray J come back and he played the way he played last year, I know his game is going to go to another level. That's how important um, they going to That's how much they're going to be dependent on Chance uh, to, 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 to be a, a, a high uh, level player um, in that district, man, when they get to the playoffs. So I'm looking for big things on Chance, man. Hopefully he, he, he ready to step up to the, um, to the task. Um, like I say, man, Reggie. Uh, he didn't play in, in, the, in the game because he was uh, his HL, the football team, made it to the playoffs to go play West Monroe. Uh, so I think it's going to take him about two to three weeks to get his his game back in order and get his rhythm back. But Ray J is a phenomenal player, man. Was a late bloomer in high school. But I think this kid is just a, 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 a one of the best in the trial parish. Can't wait to see him come back and, 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 and get back with his team and, and see how um, how special this team could be, man, because they have a chance to really do something special in 5 Terrell Barrow, one of the best all on ball defenders in the trial parish area. Ready to see his game go to another level in his junior year. You know, he kind of bursted on the scene last year. Nobody really knew about him. Well, I didn't anyway, but he showed me that he can he can be a, a real good player if, you know, he 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 have it on his mind every night. Um so I'm ready to see him take his game to another level, man, and and, and be a, a, a intricate part um in that team's success. Ellen, the man, we all know about Devontae and Martin. He didn't play in the game because this team was in the playoffs. Uh, so did Kobe Harmon. Kobe Harmon didn't play in the game either. That, so that was two two big factors um, of Ellen's team that didn't play in the game. So we all know about them. But Marquise Mosley, all right? <laughs> boy, you had it on your mind on Thursday, boy. I'm telling you. Now, I saw you last year. You was hitting some shots and things like that. Um, but I didn't expect that from Marquise Mosley. But I think this kid is showing people, look, look, look I'm here. And we just not a, 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 a two-man shoot. I can I can get buckets, and if he playing like that, Ellender has a very good shot to compete for a state championship. But you know, I just I gotta see him do this on a consistent basis before I'm ready to say something like that. Dominique Wilson, uh, they got him running. They got him running the point this year. Now, I like Dominique's game. I think he has all the ability in the world. But my question is, can he be um, a point guard for this team to, to to be able to lead them to, to a state championship, uh, to, or even get them to Lake Charles? Um, I know he can score the ball. Um, I know he has high basketball IQ. I'm just questioning, can he run the show? Can he be a facilitator? You know, they had Eric Walsh last year who did a phenomenal job at that. So I'm just questioning, um, can Dominique Wilson do it? I'm not saying he can't. I'm just questioning it. And I think that can be a, a, a big factor on why why they make it to either the, just the second or third round or if you get to the quarterfinals or the, or the late Charles. So that's going to be big to see how Dominique Wilson uh, take on that role as a as the point guard this year. Uh, Kobe Hartman. I think Kobe Hartman is a, is a, is a phenomenal talent, too. Um, I think he has a chance to be a, a one of the best players in the trial parish area, so we're going to see how his game has evolved uh, since last year. But I think these two teams are, are two of the most talented teams in the trial parish area, so it's going to be real interesting to see how, they, how this seasons uh, how this season play out for both of these teams. But uh, Terrebonne, you know, uh, they played in a, in, a, uh, in a jamboree, South Terrebonne, Hummer Christian. Uh, we all know South Terrebonne, they, they probably going to struggle this year, but they – they had they had a kid on their team, Brandon Anderson, that kind of impressed me during the Jamboree. So I think he he has a chance to be one of the better players down here. Terrebonne, you know, with Chase Lewis, uh, uh, they call him Hustle Man. He's one of the best blue guys that you're going to see in the Tri Parish area. And we all know by Didi Gano can score the ball. Uh, I'm ready to see if he if he can be the leader on that court and, and and lead these this team to the playoffs last year. I mean, I mean this year because last year they didn't make the playoffs and they should have with the talent they had on that team. Um, we know that we all know that it was Mr. Keyshawn James because he was out uh, playing football because this team made it to the playoffs too. Keyshawn James is going to make that team uh, a lot better when he gets back. Uh, uh, Typical, uh, they got a, they got a young squad man with, uh, led by Jaquan Wagner, uh, and so, so it's going to be interesting to see how Tony Clark get those guys a gel and what they can do. But um, I heard some people on, on Facebook, on Twitter, you know, talking about. Who the best player in the trial parish area and who the best players in the trial parish area. And man, look, this area is loaded with talent. It's loaded. But I'm just keeping it a band. And, you know, some people are saying Devon Tavian and Martin is the best. I heard a lot of people saying it. And that's very arguable. But I think people are forgetting about this kid from E.D. White, Kevin Johnson. This kid can do it all to me. And, and, and it hurts my heart to see that this kid is not getting the attention he deserves. Um, and the recognition 
I think a lot of it has to do with that he plays at E.D. White and he plays in three and he plays a weak schedule, but don't make no mistake about it. This kid can play. And I think, in my mind, this is no disrespect to nobody else. I think Kevin Johnson is the best player in the child pair, and that's just my opinion. But uh, I think Devontae and Martin is, 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 one, is one of the best two. Um, so when people say he's one, of, he's the best in the trial period, I don't, I don't look at that like that's absurd. I think you know that's very arguable. So is AJ Rainey. Um, but I'm telling you, another kid people need to pay attention to this year is Jaheen Spencer. He goes to Assumption. If you haven't seen this kid play, when Assumption plays Ellender, or when they play Vanderbilt, uh, make sure y'all go check this kid out, Jaheen Spencer. I think he's, a, I think he's either a 10th grader or 11th grader. This kid is, is, is a damn good talent and has the the upside to be one of the best players not only in the trial period but in the state uh makai richard from morgan city um he's a hell of a player this kid is is, is one of the most athletic kids you're gonna see down here in the trial period area um it's just unfortunate he plays for a, a mediocre or maybe below mediocre team in, in morgan city high so it's gonna be a real fun basketball season man i can't wait i'm, I'm excited Make sure y'all y'all be y'all be um in attendance when it, when when some of these top teams play like when Ellender play HL or when HL play Tipital, Terrebonne play Ellender and vice versa, man. You make sure y'all in attendance for these games, man. It's gonna be some great games and a lot of talent on the floor. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. It's G Spot Sports Talk. I'm signing out.